Come on, baby. Irene Olszewski had one a good moment in that last round. There's the right hand that kind of pushed Moreno back, the uppercut, and uh, but then Moreno kept working as she has been, landing her own good left hook after Olszewski landed one on the inside. So that was a short-lived good moment for Olszewski. Do it for me. Let's go. Last round, touch no. gloves. Last round. Just go one, two. One, two. One, two. Come on. Jab in a right hand. This is the last round. Stay on it. Stay on it. Now. Second out. Now. Touch close. Tenth and close. final round, Eileen Ochevsky. She's in the black and silver. White shorts, that's Karina Moreno. Nobody's been on the floor in this fight, no knockdowns, but it's been all Karina Moreno. And the number one instruction that Ochevsky got between rounds from her husband, Matthew, was do it for me. But right now, Moreno seems to be doing it for Rick Noble and doing a good job of it. Well, Ochevsky trying to be aggressive here, but doing it in a posture that might not be effective for her kind of a wild attack on the inside also we heard coming from that corner one piece of advice from outside the ropes use the jab in the straight right hand and that of course is something that's been underemployed by Olszewski been a great fight for the 17 and 1 Moreno looking to finish it out here and hand Eileen Olszewski her first loss and of course she came in tonight with a record of 5-0-1 Back. Karina Moreno fighting many of her fights on the West Coast, Northern California, and also at the Tashi Palace where they promote her. And uh, But she has done well when she's ventured outside as she is uh, tonight here in Albuquerque. And I know from being a promoter in the past now, she's not afraid to leave her hometown. It's very tough to match her though. People do not want to fight Karina Moreno and we're seeing tonight obvious reason why. Yep, she's a, a very good fight. Great left hook by Moreno on the inside Go, as Olszewski back. presses forward to try and make I'll something happen in these last home. moments of the fight, but not being effective. Good hook by Olszewski. Punch that was her best punch, punch, punch of the fight. And she's I mean, there's another one. She's discovering some of these things a little late. The oh. uppercut again on the inside. Just those punches weren't in the building earlier in the fight. She's making this a very entertaining 10th round. 10 seconds to go in the fight. And if we take a look at Al's scorecard in mind, it would appear that Karina Moreno has cruised to a very easy decision against Eileen Ochevsky here tonight. Repo Rick in the ring right now, spraying down. And I gotta tell you, Moreno looks like she could go another 10 rounds. She really, her stamina excellent in this fight, and she worked hard throughout the 10 rounds. Lots of combinations, this ain't no baby down, lots baby. of body work, That's right. and uh, no she did an excellent here. job. Well, moving up, adding another trinket, and, and we were talking, there's Eileen Ochevsky, been breathing through her mouth since back, I would say, the third round. Yeah. So I, I really wonder if it's an altitude situation or just could, uh, could have had some impact on her. And uh, but in any case, her stamina was an issue this evening, along with Moreno and her aggressiveness. Moreno doing what she needs to do. And oh, this That's Christian right, print up her promoter and doing what she needs to do to get fights moving up to 108. That's right. Well, tonight is a lot about these women showing what they have to offer to a larger audience, to uh, in, a, in a bigger setting. And for Moreno, that's exactly what she did. She showed uh, a larger audience exactly what she's made of. Maybe somebody that hasn't seen her fight before, why she was picked WBC Fighter of the Year uh, in the women's ranks. And it would be interesting to see her, though. You mentioned she has fought very close to home. But it would be interesting to see her go over to Europe, fight some of the European fighters over there, and see if she can reverse sort of that uh, stigma, bad luck, or just unlevel playing field to win some decisions over there because American fighters haven't done very good over in Europe. 
I know two world title fights that Elena Reed won over there, and she didn't get the decision. So yeah, it's very difficult to go there and win a uh, uh, win a championship. But you're right; it would be interesting to see Marino do that, and maybe a rematch with Holly Dunaway if she wins in our next fight, or Wendy Rodriguez might be in the offer. It would be really good. I'm waiting to see here, Benny Ricardo. I believe he's got the numbers, and we're going to find out. Up to Benny Ricardo with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the tabulation of the cards right here and ready for the official decision. The judges, Judge Bill Gant scored it 100 to 90. Judge Lorenzo Zion scored it 97-93. And Judge John Shorley scored it 100 to 90. The winner by unanimous decision and the IFBA Junior Fightweight Champion, Karina La Reina Moreno. And presenting, presenting the official belt of the IFBA is the president and supervisor in charge, Judy Kulis. Judy Kulis. Baby. All right, Karina Marino. How about a big hand, though, for Eileen? Improves to 18 and 1 and puts another belt on her shelf, Al. And uh, for the terrific fight, two judges had it a shutout, 100 to 90. One had it a little closer, like you had it, 97-93. Yeah, I had it more than that, but yeah, you could you could certainly go in that direction a little bit. Now, in round two, early on, Moreno started the pressure. And this was, she was relentless during the course of this match. You see the hand speed of Moreno. And as the fight wore on, she just wore Olszewski down and then didn't even need the jab to land those overhand rights. She was landing them even without the jab preceding it. Great hand speed by Moreno and good straight punches. And Olszewski just didn't have any defensive answers. And as the fight wore on, the repetition of those combinations were impressive. The fatigue of Olszewski trying started to really kick in in those later rounds. And Moreno just never stopped working, whether it was those jabs or right hands or the hooks we just saw a moment ago. She kept up the pace all the way to the end. Round 10 was a little more competitive and, more, and fun to watch, but not enough for Eileen Olszewski to win this fight. And now, with all due respect to Olszewski, we did get to see a glimmer of what could have been. But Benny Ricardo's got Karina Moreno. Take it away, Benny. Thank you, Arnie and Al. Karina, that was a tremendous performance. At the age of 26, you are right there. So there's more people than just Watsonville, the world, watching tonight put on a splendid show. How do you feel? I feel great, you know. Um, uh, I mean, the, little, the high altitude a little bit affected me a little bit. I could feel it. Um, but other than that, you know, I feel real great. And I felt good. You know, I want to thank, um, I want to thank my trainers. Uh, I want to, my, 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 um, the Tachi Palace Casino, my uh, promoter, Christian Pinup. And if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be possible. I want to thank Lenny. Um, you know, he, has a, he put a great, tremendous show tonight. And you know, I want to thank my family. Um, I want to thank uh, all my sponsors, uh, Cartel Management, Max Muscle from Santa Cruz, uh, Tacos Morenos. <laughs> uh, well, you got a lot of sponsors, definitely. Not. You know, you now you get your 18th win, and now you're loading up with all these particular titles. And I kept watching you throughout the fight, and the way you carry your feet, your stance, reminded me so much of a guy named of Manos de Piedra, Hands of Stone, Roberto Duran. Have you seen him? You've seen him fight? Oh yeah, I have. I've seen many fights of him, and you know I'm a tremendous fan of him. You know, he, you know, back in the days, you know, he was a great fighter. You know, and um, you know I like his style and. Uh, Sometimes I try to uh, act like, you know, impersonate his style a little bit when I'm in the ring. Uh, but, you know, I felt really great. Uh, and I think uh, Elaine, you know, me and her go way back from the amateurs, you know, me and her were great. You know, we see our great friends, you know. It was a little bit kind of odd, you know, coming in into the fight and fighting her. I've known her for a long, long time. Um, like I said, me and her were on the same team. And, you know, her style, her style definitely did throw me off a little bit, you know. She had a kind of a weird style from them, from the amateurs, and from what I remember. When I was in the amateurs, so um, you know her, her tight, her uh, definitely her style. Well, congratulations, the new IFBA champion, Karina La Reina Moreno.
Back to you, Al and Arnie. All right, thank you, Benny. And this joy in Watsonville tonight as Camarena Reno has another title. Finally, home versus Sanders. Live on Integrated Sports Pay Per View. Is promoted by Fresquez Productions and presented by.